Good morning class. Here is your English teacher Sir Sanjay. I welcome you all to yet another session of online classes. In fact YouTube sessions wherein we explain in detail the lessons of English workbook and English course book. Since English workbook is almost complete and covered, we are now focusing mostly on course book with this being the 13th, the last second lesson of English course book. Clear? So without any further ado, let us begin today's lesson. This is 13th lesson from English course book for second standard. The name of the lesson is Tenali Raman and the Two Thieves. Okay, so Tenali Raman was a very wise man who was known for his wit and wisdom. Wit, if I mention the word wit, it means application of wise method with a bit of fun involved okay so tenali raman whenever he used to speak he sounded very funny on top of that he used to you know have this shrewd mind sharp brain where he could solve and you know solve problem and help people in a number of ways so tenali raman i've given you the introduction he was a wise man who was witty right and thieves who are thieves thieves are bad people who steal things right stealing thing is it good or bad it's a very bad thing right if you steal something police will catch you and then you will be locked up inside a prison and then you will be given different kind of punishment so stealing means taking away others things without their will or permission Clear. So now let's find out what is with Tenali Raman and the two thieves. Okay. So let's begin with the ponder section. Ponder means to think. I've said this. So since can you identify these characters? So this must be Mr. Tenali Raman. Who's it? Tenali Raman, right? Who are the other two? You have to find it out. Who do you think? This is Birbal. Alright. And this one is another wise man, popularly known as Chacha. Chacha, what? Nasruddin. Clear. We talk about three men. Who are they? Birbal, Tenali Raman, Nasruddin. All these men were known for their wisdom, their witty nature. They were quite funny also, like the way they used to speak and solve cases. Clear. So, Birbal used to sit at the court of Akbar about Tenali Raman. We'll find out on this man. He is also very popular. Clear? Nasruddin. So now, let's read. So this character is about this character. So I have told you. So which of this is your favorite character? Why? Have you read uh, comic sketches on this important character? Very wonderful stories are written about them. You can learn a lot by reading the story involving this people. Clear? If you ask my favorite, my favorite is Birbal because of his wisdom and the way he used to kind of, you know, tempt, not tempt, kind of please Akbar, Emperor Akbar and always outsmart him. He was so thinking and the way he used to solve problem, he was always a favorite with Akbar. Okay, this man was also outspoken and very smart and he also was in the similar category. Okay. So, who's your favorite? Find it out. So, you have to na narrate a story of any one of these characters in the class in your own word. This now is not possible. Maybe in the Google Meet session, I may ask you to read one story about any of these three gentlemen. Okay. You can choose and narrate. Okay. So, now let's do the actual reading. Be ready. I'll read para wise and then I'll explain you. Be ready. Okay. So here we are. 
once upon a time we are here clear once upon a time there was a wise man named tenali raman he used to work at the court of emperor krishna what is the name of the emperor quite big right emperor krishna devaraya all right so this wise man by the name tenali raman what was the name of the wise man tenali raman right so he used to work at the court of emperor krishna devaraya what was the name of the emperor the name of the emperor uh, supreme king was krishna dev raya what was the name krishna dev raya okay try to pronounce it krishna dev raya all right so what happened one summer night when tenali raman was about to sleep he heard the rustling of leaves what do you mean by rustling rustling is a typical sound produced when two dry leaves consider this and this as two dry leaves if i rub this dry leaves against one another a very typical sound will produce the sound which is produced when i rub two dry leaves is called rustling what do i call it rustling okay so what happened one summer night summer season you know right what season is it now now it is summer am i right a hey, no it's winter now clear summer basically begins from let's say april may june may june uh, worst season of summer it's very warm clear okay getting back to lesson anyway so one summer night when tenali raman was about to sleep he heard the rustling of leaves the sound came from the bushes outside so see these are bushes what are this this are bushes okay and sound came from bushes outside his house so what does he say what was he thinking he thinks it is a hot night and there is no breeze blowing at all breeze means what cool wind blowing whenever cool wind blows wind means moving air clear so whenever cool wind blows we call it breeze okay so summer is very hot we don't have any breeze in all blowing in summer in so many parts of india clear so there was no breeze blowing at that time when tenali raman was about to sleep so he was thinking how can the leaves rustle on their own how is it possible for the leaves to rustle on their own tenali raman thought okay being a wise man he figured out that some thieves were hiding in the bushes so he was wise so he made it out that you know he understood clearly that it was the it must be thieves hiding behind the bushes so we came across a phrase called figured out what is the meaning of the word or phrase figured out it's written here figured out means to understand figured out means to understand clear so getting back to lesson since he was wise man tenali raman understood that it must be thieves who were hiding behind the bushes clear they must be planning to rob my house in the night he said to himself so he was speaking to himself maybe this man are pl- planning to you know um, rob my house at night okay so now he thought of a plan an idea struck his mind he thought of a plan he said to his wife now he came out and he said to his wife my dear i've heard that some notorious thieves are roaming around in our neighborhood so let's hide all the jewelry and money that we have in the well clear so he thought of a plan his and he started speaking to his wife he said you know my dear i've heard that some bad criminals what do you mean by notorious we came across another new word called notorious let's find out the meaning clear see it's here see notorious what do you mean by notorious notorious means known for doing bad thing clear so he said to his wife that some 
people who are known for doing bad things, some bad thieves are roaming around in our neighborhood. So, let us hide all our jewelry and money, whatever we, whatever we have in the well. So, where is the well? Here's the well. They wanted to hide everything in the well. Okay. He said that he would hide everything in the well. Who said this? Tenali Raman. Right. Now, let's continue. A little later, boys, I want you to open your book alongside and keep reading with your book because visibility may be an issue with the letters being shorter here. So, keep your book open, read them accordingly and then enjoy the story as I am explaining. Clear? So, a little later, Tenali Raman and his wife came out of the house carrying a big trunk and dropped it into the well. Then, they went back inside the house and pretended to be asleep clear so what happened they went inside the house the husband and the wife and then they carried a big trunk and then they dropped the same trunk into the well and after doing so they went back into the house and pretended pretended means they acted as if they were going back to sleep See, we came across another new word, pretended. What is the new word? Pretended, right? Let me get back to that page. Yeah, pretended. Pretended means acted, like I said. Okay. Here. All right. So, let's get back to the reading. Yeah. The thieves waited for a while and then started drawing water from the well. They hoped to empty the well and get the treasure. So see, thieves. Okay. They thought, no, oh, wonderful chance. Now Tenali Raman and his wife are inside. Maybe this is our chance. We will drain water out of the well. We will clear the well and then we will take out the trunk and we will run away. Okay. So drawing here means pulling out water from the well to make it dry or to bring it to a state where the trunk was visible. Clear? So what happened? The thieves kept drawing water out the entire night. Towards daybreak, they managed to pull out the trunk. So what happened? The thieves kept drawing out water and it took them the whole night to clear the mess. So, during daybreak means as soon as you know the daytime was approaching, they managed to get the trunk somehow. They were very happy. But something, something funny will happen now. Okay. Stay tuned and see what is about to happen. But then, uh, but when they opened it, they were extremely disappointed. They were feeling very bad when they opened it. They found that the trunk was filled with big stones. <laughs> Isn't it funny? They thought, they thought that they'll be getting uh, jewels worth great value. But then when they opened this trunk, after all those hard work of draining water from the well, all they get was a trunk full of S-T-O-N-E, stone. Right? They were extremely disappointed. They found that the trunk was filled with big stones. Okay. The thieves understood that it was Tenali Raman's plan to outsmart them. Okay. They understood that Tenali Raman had outsmarted them. So, outsmart. What is the meaning? We came across another word. Means to fool them. Clear? To fool them. Alright. It was Tenali Raman's plan. To actually fool them. Okay. So. Just then. Tenali Raman came out of his house. And said. Thank you friends. For watering my plants. So Tenali Raman came out. And as everything went according to his plan. He said thank you friends. For watering my plants. I must pay you for your labor. So he said. I will pay you for your hard work. See. Labor is another word. It means hard work. I'll just show you in the glossary again. See, labor, hard work. Clear? 
try to understand these new words that are being introduced. So Tenali Raman came out laughing and then said, Thank you, friend, for watering my garden. I'll you know pay you for watering my plants. I must pay you for your hard work. Hearing this, the thieves fell at Tenali's feet for forgiveness. The thieves, you know, they understood that this was no ordinary man. They folded, they bent down, and then they bent down on their knee. They were kneeling down before Tenali Raman to ask for forgiveness. They say, Sorry, please forgive us for our bad debt. And then they promise not to steal or rob anyone ever again. So it's a very wonderful story, right? By reading this story, what do we find? We find that a little bit of strategy and use of brain in a wise manner can always save you from troubles and problems. So what did Tenali do? Tenali did nothing special. He used a bit of trick to fool the thieves and then in return what happened is he saved himself from getting robbed. Okay. So the moral of the lesson is always think wisely even if you are in danger and try to come out of this situation okay so now we'll take a quick look at the exercises that are there i'll just summarize them and if you wish to i want you to make the question answers and whatever the exercises are on your own with the help of your siblings or whosoever and if you are not able i'll always provide my help my assistance in the form of written notes okay So now here is a pre uh, preparation section. You ask to prepare. You ask, see, you have to imagine you are Tenali Raman. Imagine if you are Tenali Raman. What would you do if some, if some of the thieves, we are here actually, if some of the thieves enter, try to enter your house, what would you do if you are Tenali Raman? You could either think like him or think of a way to protect your house, right? You can do, you know, group discussion. Since class group discussion is not possible, I recommend you to do it with either of your parents, your sibling, or someone you, you know, are comfortable doing the same with. Okay. So now, let's start the practice session. Practice basically means exercises pertaining to the explanation of lesson. So based on your understanding of the lesson, we will take a quick look at some of the exercise. Okay. We asked to choose the correct answer as the first question. Let's see what is it. Yeah. So Tenali Raman used to work at the court. We are here. Clear? If you can see clearly, we are here. So Tenali Raman used to work at the court of Emperor. Emperor whom? Krishna Devaraya or Akbar. What is the correct answer? Akbar? No. Who used to work at the court of Akbar? I told you. It was Birbal. So, Tenali used to work at the court of Krishna Devaraya. Isn't it? Moving on. Tenali Raman heard the cry of a cat or rustling of leaves at night. What did he hear? Was it cry of a cat or rustling of leaves? Of course, rustling of leaves. Right. Next, the thieves were hiding in the well or the bushes. Where did they hide? Is it possible for people to hide in the well? They will die, isn't it? They cannot breathe. So the answer is the bushes. Next, Dinali Raman and his wife filled the trunk with jewelry slash stones. What is the answer? Stones is the answer, right? Stones is the answer. Moving on, the thieves uprooted or watered Tenali Raman's plants. What did they do? They were trying to steal things, but in the process, they ended up watering his garden. Right? So, watered is the correct option. Moving on. I'll just provide you hint, children. Try and do them on your own. Still, if you find problem, I'll be there. Like I've said always, just try to mention that you have problem with this lesson. Okay? So, B. Yeah, we're here. How did Tenali Raman know that thieves were hiding in the bushes? Very simple. Tenali Raman knew that thieves were hiding in the bushes by 
the sound of rustling leaves he heard right you can simply say by hearing the sound of rustling leaves tenali raman knew that thieves were hiding in the bushes okay now next what did tenali raman tell his wife he thought of a plan and then he told his wife that he had heard that some notorious thieves were running or moving around in the locality so he had decided to hide all the jewelries in the well right three what did tenali raman fill the trunk with why did tenali raman fill the trunk with stones he wanted it was his trick he played a trick on the thieves he gave them an impression that he was actually hiding jewelry in the well into the well but in reality it was trunk full of full of stones right four why did the thieves wait before drawing water from the well so why did the thieves wait before drawing water from the well they wanted to assure that tenali raman and his wife were inside because they wanted to do the work securely without getting caught right why did tenali raman thank the thieves he thanked the thieves because in the process of stealing jewelry they ended up watering his entire plants so he actually thanked them it was a long pending work for him it seems right so now let's take a quick look at the other exercises that are there okay so see complete this sentences by using is or am or are and then the ing form the verb given in brackets one has been done for you very simple see i am waiting for my bus wait so is am are has to be used and then ing form of the verb given in brackets so watch i'll be using watching but other than that i have to use is am are is am are also so here some children children is plural so what will i do some children what will it be are watching right so i think you can do the rest on your own should i help you with the last one yes of course so i'll help you with 5 and 6 the cat there's the milk what will it be the cat is singular so i'll say is yes. drinking d r i n k then i n g is not and a story here now six they dash a game they are playing a game right so this is also the end here now the rest of the exercise see look at the picture look at the picture in your textbook for clarity And then complete the story using is am okay so you are going to do this as well in the similar manner so look at the picture then complete the story using is am are and then ing form the verb like we dash our annual day what will it be we just a second we it will be are attending okay then the principal and the teachers are helping and so on try and do the rest on your own the students are performing all the parents are watching they are enjoying and so on clear so i've skipped two exercises i'm not sure whether or not you have noted these are the ones i've skipped to so see vocabulary section perfect it says that ing to this words to make new words one has been done for you i thought it would be easy for you that is why i skipped on purpose i would like to show them once if you want see open plus ing what will it be it will be opening only right so that is why i left you so the answer is going to be o p e n i n g similarly sleep plus ing sleeping waiting stealing okay 
thinking, drawing, etc. Okay. So now the next session is unscramble these words from the text and rewrite them. Then match them with their meanings. We'll have to first unscramble these words and find the appropriate word and write them in the blank first point. And then we'll have to match the word with their meanings against the meaning column. Clear? Yeah, one has already been already been already been done for us we may also use a dictionary i'm not sure how many of you are well aware of using dictionary and all if not we'll find it because regular class is not allowed now not so plenty of things are amiss like see d a d i s p o n disappointed isn't it means upset what will it be a d b a k e r y what will it be mm -hmm. What will it be? What do you think it's going to be? Okay, the word is daybreak. All right, D A Y B R E A K. Write it neatly in your textbook. Clear. So, what will be the meaning of the word daybreak? Anyone? Yeah. The word is like I've mentioned, it will be day break. What I'm willing to ask is what will be the meaning of the word day break? It will be early morning. Okay. So similarly, there are other words also, isn't it? Who can tell me the mean uh, who can tell me what is to T O U R C? What word will it be? So it is court, right? C O U R T. What does it mean? It means the area in a place where a king or queen talks to ministers and meet the common people. Isn't it? What do you think will number three be? S T R I N G U L. What will it be? It will of course be rustling. What will it be? Rustling. R U S T L I N G. And what is the meaning of the word rustling? I've already mentioned it is. It is what? Noise made by leaves when one steps on them. Right? Then we have number four. What is it? Just a sec. Just a sec. Number four is R U N K T. What will it be? Mm hmm. It's very simple, right? Trunk. T R U N K. So, what is a trunk? Trunk basically is a large box made up of metal. So, the answer is here. Now, five. The word is M O R I N G A. What will it be? So, it means roaming, right? R O A M I N G. And what does the word roaming mean? It means moving about without any aim. Okay, six is already done. Disappointed means upset. And then we have the final word S A U T E E R R. What do you think will it? So the last word would mean treasure T R E A S U R E. And the meaning of the word treasure is. A thing of great value okay that is the end so now what do we have we have an explanation on adding ing to these and that right see there are three ways to add ing to action word for some doing words we add ing to the main word in some cases ing is added directly to the main word for example eat plus ing becomes eating okay here all right now for doing words that end with e we drop e and add ing for example come c o m e it ends with e right so we drop e and write it as coming okay c o m i n g all right then for some other words we double the last letter and add an what we double the last letter and add an 
I N G. Example swim S W I M. M is the last letter. We have doubled up M and written it as swimming. Swimming. Okay. That's how it goes. So let's write the I N G form of this was very simple. Hiding. What will it be? H I D I N G. Hiding. I'll do any three or four. You'll do the rest. Three. Planning. P L a n n i n g planning so i've done two i'll do the last two the rest is your robbing it will be uh, r o b b i n g then managing what will it be m a n a g i n g okay that's how you do it that is how you do it and it's very simple okay See, sometimes we use M, is, and R with doing words. When we use this, when we use these words, we use them in the ing form of the doing words. So let's study this table. I am, he is, she is, I am working. Okay, it goes like this I am working. He is walking. She is walking. It is walking. All right. We are walking. They are walking. You are walking. That's how. Clear. Using it in ing form. So, I've already told you how to do this. So, based on my explanation, complete them. Okay. Now, let's take a quick look at this picture and read the group of words below each one of them. A blue umbrella. A red ross. What kind of umbrella? Blue umbrella. So, we are reading about adjectives now. Describing word called adjectives. So, to make things easier and clearer for you, adjectives are words that add to the meaning of noun. Basically, they are describing word. For example, if I say umbrella, it does not add much meaning to the word. If I say blue umbrella, I am adding to the meaning of the word. Similarly, what do I have? I have a red rose, a bright sun. Then, what else? A big hat, a yellow car. Then, a pretty bird. Right, so let's read the words blue, red, bright, big, yellow, and pretty. What do they tell us? They tell us more about or describe the noun umbrella, rose, sun, hat, car, and bird, respectively. Am I right? So, words that tell us more about nouns are called describing words, basically, adjectives you learn in higher class. So, for your standard. We won't explain you more than what I have. Okay. So, let us underline the describing words in the sentences. One has been done for you. So, I'll do only two. The rest is to be done by you. See, Ranjit is a clever boy. So, what is the adjective? Clever. Next. Let's do the rest. The lion is a big animal. What kind of animal? Big animal. The tall building has 20 floors. How many floors? 20 floors. So, the rest is your homework. Do it on your own. Okay. Now there is this performance section. What is it? Let's find out. So, yeah. You ask to look at the picture. What do you think the children are saying? Write dialogue for each of them. So, you try and write dialogue. Clear this boy. You can make a dialogue bubble something like this and then write what is in his mind and what is she replying so and so okay the boy must ask would you like to have an apple the girl might say yes thank you here and she might say you know here please take it this is a gift for you you say yes thank you sure so do it on your own now listening and filling in the blanks okay so let's try and do One day, Nasruddin Hoja went to visit 
a what so this is cd based class we will skip this if you have cd at home this is optional i want you to try and do it on your own clear so we are skipping this all together this is optional if you wish to do you can now speaking you did something wrong how do you say sorry where is my crayon he is asking I'm sorry, I broke it by mistake, she is replying. Clear. Why didn't you call me? I'm sorry, I forgot to call you. Just to say sorry when you make mistake. Were you fighting? Mother is asking. We are sorry, we won't do it again. Where is your notebook? I'm sorry, ma'am, ma I forgot to bring it. Clear. You ask to form pair and practice this dialogue. Try to practice this with your sibling or with your parents, okay? So with this, we basically come to conclusion of lesson number 13 for English. If you have any problem pertaining to this lesson, let us discuss it in Google Meet session. And moreover, only one lesson remains. We will try and focus on that. Okay, let us wind up the class with this. Thank you everyone for being part of the class. Thank you.